esports is not only somewhere in America or in the States. No, it's everywhere, including Africa. Ghana facing the developing of the esports much faster than any other country. Even Nigeria does not have the clubs like this even up to today. Hello, good afternoon. It's your boy Jeremiah, and you're welcome to Strive Media. In today's video, I'll be speaking with the founder and CEO of Otium Games here in East Legon. We talk to him about how he started and how things are going here in Otium Games. So stay tuned, relax, and enjoy the entire video. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Afternoon, how are you? Fine, thank you. Um, I'm Jeremiah. Nice to meet you, Valentin here. I'm very pleased to see you here in my club. Same, same. So, um, we heard about Otium Games some time ago, probably two or three months ago, and people have been asking me to make videos on Otium Games. So here we are, we came to see that place. We did a little video shoot here some time ago, and we decided to come and speak with the founder himself. No problem, I'm here. Everything what you want to know, I will let you know. So. Thanks very much. So please, first of all, I'd like to ask you, how did Otium Game begin? Okay, first of all, we are here in Accra, right? Yeah. And I'm very proud that we are doing this in Africa. Mm. Uh, not many people really thinking about the esports. Mm. But my vision was to bring to the young people here in Ghana the touch of the professional esports like to see how the career can be made mm. and the goal was to show to the people to the public especially to the young boys and girls that esports is not only somewhere in america or in the states no it's everywhere including africa mm. and i'm very proud that somehow we are i'm not Ghanaian, but i'm living a long time in ghana ghana facing the developing of the esports much faster than any other countries Oh, really? For instance, Cote d'Ivoire or Togo, or Benin, even Nigeria does not have the clubs like this even up to today. Yes, yes. Oh, wow, wow. That's, that's very And I'm, I'm very proud that it's happening here. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting a little bit from my experience, from my knowledge to show it to Ghanaians and to make Ghana number one in esports. <laughs> wow, that's, that's very remarkable. Of course, of course. Um, so I would like us to go back a little bit. No problem. So how long have you been in Ghana and where is your like original homeland? I'm from Ukraine. Ukraine. Oh, oh yes, okay. I'm Ukrainian. Interesting. I'm almost six, even seven years in Ghana. Oh, okay. So I know Ghana very well. Mm. I like Ghana. Mm. <laughs> I love Ghana. Ghana is giving me the peace. Unfortunately, my country cannot give me the peace on, on this time. But I started this not that long ago. I, like it's more than a year or something. That's when we started, actually, this okay. business, this venture. Okay, and um, since you started, have you really faced any challenges? Probably um, oh, people... Many. <laughs> many. Of course. Wow. Because being one of the first here, it's very difficult. Yes. Uh, internet, it's not stable. <laughs> Electricity, it's not stable. stable. People have to be educated what we are actually doing. Yes. Like, like uh, let's say, people like to play FIFA. But apart from FIFA, there are so many different games. Yeah. And I want to introduce it, like a Call of Duty, yeah. Dota, mm. uh, League of Legends, Apex. Like, it's so plenty. Mm. Just to introduce it was, even now I'm facing the difficulties. Because people still want to play FIFA only. Yes. This is a big deal. Yeah. You see, I'm, first of all, uh, the Otium is a member of Esports Federation, which okay. is a part of International Esports Federation. Mm. So some of the gamers who are enjoying time here, who are coming here for the tournaments of their leisure time, they went already to some international uh, tournaments outside. Just a few weeks ago, we had some uh, tournaments and uh, qualifiers for the Romania. It will be like a World Cup there, like a taken. Okay. Uh, regarding the games, uh, apart from what you just mentioned, GTA, Grand Theft Auto, God of War, and the football. There are plenty of ones that mm -hmm. now are being played in the United States or in Europe with a big prize pool. And most of those games are online games. Yes. 
And now, because Ghana is have more or less stable internet, mm. we are ready to create this uh, sport team. Right now, it is the time to create the teams. Right now, this is the time yeah. to create the first teams in Africa yeah. and to go uh, abroad to show the, the skills. What will we have? Yes. And I also believe doing this here in Ghana, people like you coming here to invest in um, avenues like this is going to go a long way of helping the young ones not only have fun, but also make money long, in, in the long term. What I want to explain yes. to many Ghanaians and to Africans that gaming is a part of the time that you can just like spend like a free time. Mm. But from other sides, you can build a career. A whole career, wow. It's not only uh, like 10 minutes uh, playing the FIFA with your favorite uh, Paris Saint-Germain. No, you can also, using these skills, go abroad, see people, become a professional mm. uh, player. And it's not like story tale, it's not like um, impossible to do. People already in Ghana, in Ghana, doing this. Mm. And not only in FIFA. Apart from FIFA, they are uh, including Dota, Apex, they are already building the teams. Um, in future, in very close future, let's yeah. say, five to ten years only mm. it will be the same like a footballer mm. the real one yes and, then and uh esports e -sports yes it, it's, yeah. it's it's growing yeah. there there are a lot of countries like china also like asian market mostly mm. as uh, south korea uh, the sports is already like this yeah and um so i think we should we should start seeing a possibility of it becoming a career that's what you are trying to say okay. you see when I started this, I decided not only considering the PlayStation, that's usually most of the people doing here in Ghana, they open the video club, putting the PlayStation. I added the VR, I mm. added the, um, the PC, the gaming PC, yes. that allows people to play professional games on the PC. Mm. And this actually gives the opportunity to see those games, to see if the person is able to play those games, if the person is able to perform on that games. So basically, the idea was to introduce it, one of the first in Ghana and like as a, in the West Africa, because I studied the market. Nigerian doesn't have the clubs like this, uh, I can assure it. Wow. They don't play. They have some uh, mini amusement park, something like this, with the PlayStations, but nothing like uh, eSports. They are not into this. Moreover, for you and for us, like uh, being Ghanaians, I might tell you, we already played with Nigeria in FIFA and you know who won, of course Ghana. <laughs> Ghana. That's nice. Okay, okay. So, um, fine. Um, you, you have a shop, you have people coming in and people going out. How, how, how have you seen the reaction to the games? How are people reacting to the game? I was here the last time and then I, I tried the VR, the virtual reality. Game. Yeah, we added as well this year. And trust me, it was very, very amazing. <laughs> I never experienced it, even though it has been in existence for a very long time. That was my first time experiencing <laughs> it. I absolutely love it. The, so, the idea was to make it affordable. Look, you know, yeah. like uh, every student, once and we can come and try it on yeah. its own, like it does not attract much of the money. Like we, we also bear the cost, of course. Yeah, yeah. But for us was the idea to show it to the public. Like mm. it's possible to experience this. And here in Africa, because some Ghanaians, I remember in the beginning they were calling and asking whether the club is truly exist because mm -hmm. they didn't believe that someone did it in Ghana. They saw yeah. that it's like pictures from abroad, abroad but yeah. it's here in Ghana, in, Ghana. in Accra, in East Ligon. Like you can like you can just like five mm -hmm. minutes from American house. Yes, uh, five minutes walk away. Okay, um, have you have you embarked on um, some school projects like probably going to schools and trying to educate them about it? Because I believe. That would also help. We are doing this uh, as being a part of Ghana Esports Federation. We are collaborating about this, one, of course. Oh, okay, so just like they have the CAF, the FIFA um, federations, and all, now we have Esports Federation of here course, in Ghana. Of course, of course, Ghana Esports Federation. Yes. And how many tournaments have we partaked in? So oh far? my God, plenty. I, 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 in this place, we took more than I don't know, maybe fifty something. Mm, of okay, course, okay. it was like. Uh, it was different like local one only just uh, for the members 
it was invitational only it was uh, online mm -hmm. uh, it was like with different countries as I told Nigeria with a Cameroon was a uh, uh, with Ivory Coast, if I'm not mistaken. So it was different Ooh. countries what we were playing. It was uh, sometimes we played, some people were playing here, some people were playing from abroad. So like it was so many tournaments wow. already and wow. like we're trying to do it often. Like last time, as I told you, it was Taken. Mm -hmm. If you know Taken, the, the fighting, yeah. like a Mortal Kombat. Okay. So we were playing Taken as a part of qualifiers for the International Esports Federation. Oh, awesome. Wow, wow. That's, that's very, very, very beautiful. Because and if you play not only one game but different games, maybe you will have a chance to become an esports athlete and go abroad. Oh, That's wow. the idea. Officially, wow. and you will be like a sportsman outside. Mm. And um, now that you've been here for six years, right? And I'm sure you've noticed how um, unemployment here is actually worrying we the youth. Of course. So of this course. is also going to be. Um, an avenue for us to also be able to, you know, spread our wings and then hit international board, um, borders. Um, I also want to know if you have any partnership with the government or any state institutions yet. Uh, for now, uh, uh, I'm trying to show to public that esports is not a leisure, but it's a prestige of the country. Mm. In case you are truly investing in this as like a being a sport like ghana football federation football, like yeah. goes to world cup the same it's a prestige or well known about the country so like i do believe gradually um ghanian governments and ghanian uh first people the stakeholders yes of stakeholders yes they they will see the definitely it will come because most of the countries now who are on the top level Mm. They did it uh, with the support of government, of course. Wow, wow, that's that's very interesting. It will it will come. It, we have to have some patience. Okay. So, um, how long have you actually been operating? The more than a year. Years? More than a year. More than a year. More than a year. And um, how how would you say if your process of growth has been? Has it been smooth? Has it been a little? As every new venture, it has some difficulties, but it's growing. It's growing. Okay. Numbers are increasing. Of course, like we're trying. Like it's it's very difficult to introduce something new as usual. Like yeah. if it was like a pub or restaurant, uh, it was completely different economy. But the idea of this is to make people aware about the esport. This is yeah. the number one goal. Yeah. And another thing is, after I I came for the first video shoot, I did a little bit of real sense um short videos from it. And then I posted online. So people started asking me how much it would cost. So I had to call um, Adam. And then he sent me the price practice. list. I showed it to them and they were very, very surprised. They were like, yo, I was thinking it would cost maybe two or three times more. We want to introduce, we want to show it to the world. We want to show it to Ghanaians. We want to attract it. In case you will put the high uh, price, high tax. Yeah. Uh, you will attract only a few people, but yeah. you will never find the, 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 the real ones. Yes, of course. Um, and so, like, our idea, like, unfortunately, it's very difficult. Like, I'm, I will tell you, it's very difficult uh, in this business yeah. uh, because it's new. Mm. But gradually, bringing more people, it yeah. will have a much better result in the future. That's, yeah. w that is our concept. I, I believe probably if you move, your, your aim is to get esports to the um, Ghanaian and African markets. But I also believe probably if you move a little, if you pay a little attention to the rural areas, um, places that are not so privileged like East Legon, you know, I think you'd, you'd see some real talent here. No, Ghanaians are very talented. Like, I do believe they are the most talented. Yes. This is my opinion. And I, <laughs> no, no, it's true. The wow. most important is a teamwork. teamwork. If Ghanaians ready to work as a team, they will, I don't know, blow out everyone. Like even the last World Cup, the the problem, uh, it's not the teamwork. Yeah, the teamwork. So, um, assuming someone has a PS5 or a PS4 at home, and a person would also want to join the tournament, how does the person go about it? It depends on the tournament. As I told you, different tournaments have a different, uh, um, let's say, someone invitational, like you cannot come. Someone are open for public, like a 
mm. or open cup or something like this uh, you for instance you can pay like 10 to 20 cd just like a uh, entrance fee okay. and like trying to join there is some price for this yeah. uh it depends on the game it depends on the venue it depends on the organizer because sometimes uh we are not only who are organizing the events okay. there are other people they are doing it we are just providing the venue so like it depends also on them so okay. it depends from time to time you only you have to follow the instagram you have to see what we are doing yeah. and that's how you yeah, yeah just just subscribe on our what you mean up yes okay so instagram is one of the best places you can get the information you need and then i understand you have a website as well yes yes Otium well. games has a website That's yes www.otium games Otium game have the same it's okay. everything but the main the, the most of the information usually we like uh upcoming tournaments yes web web uh, web page is mostly for find us okay. mostly but uh, in information comes to facebook and instagram mostly oh, okay okay oh, so you can find about the events about the issues like or whatever we are doing or propose us something if you want to cooperate or you want to deal with us partnership. you can yes partnership you will we are also Okay, available. about this, of course. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. So, um, where where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years from now? I hope that eventually my dream will come, and uh, Ghanaian or African uh, sports will be in the global map of esports. Mm. It's not only the Europeans or Asians mm -hmm. who are supposed to play. I think that. Yes. Africans supposed to show their talent as well. That's my that's my vision here. That's my my idea. It's for Africans to show their talent. Okay, and and I I see me with me or without me, but I put the like a seed, you know, like in the, yeah, in the, soil. In the soil, and I want it to grow, and I want it to grow with like because Ghanaians are very friendly people. Yeah, they're yeah. very nice to me, mm -hmm. and like because of the old friendship they're giving to us uh i i want to give it back and like i want it to grow and like to give good results for them awesome. that's that's my vision even okay. without me i hope that one day i will even without me or yeah. with me i will read that Ghanaian coffee <laughs> because i'm also coffee oh really i was going wow. to try the Ghanaian wow, coffee wow. won the tournament somewhere in netherlands wow. in, that's what i want that's that's, that's what i want i want that uh, or team from east Legon or from tema or from I don't know, uh, Kumasi, because Kumasi yeah. is very strong. Uh, oh, okay. One, I don't know, some international World Cup. That's wow. that's the idea. That's that's the whole goal of the Otium. So you are not only you are not only focused here in Accra. You no, are you are in Kumasi I, as well. Uh, like I will tell you one very interesting thing. One time I remember we were having the Mortal Kombat mm -hmm. uh, tournament, and the guy who won is actually the guy from Kumasi who spent ten hours just to come in Accra. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> he played for three hours and then another 10 hours going back. Like, like wow. it was, I, I don't know why 10 hours, but he said like eight or 10 hours on yeah. the bus or something like that. I don't know why it's so long. Maybe, 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 maybe because of all of this, but he yes. spent and he won the prize. It was wow. Some, yes, yes. Like Kumasi, <laughs> Kumasi's uh, players are very good. Wow. So that's passion. The person is very passionate about his end they have their own ideas how to play like they're like more or less like professional they just need the, like a step to go on the international level okay okay that's what we are trying to do okay and i see you already doing a good job i'm trying i just want to support i want people to come i want to show it i want people not to be afraid yes as you said like it's quite expensive yeah no. you have to pay something yeah. but this money is just to uh maintenance maintenance yes maintenance of course like it, keep the place if you if you count like it's uh just to uh develop the the, the market yeah. now yeah okay it will be difficult to reach us yeah Very because we're we already like some of the guys are going to romania oh before okay. they were on the body some like we are already on the international level, level. So, yes of course and yeah. there the are yeah. more people going in the uh, events outside ghana it will be more difficult to join so don't hesitate okay um so what do you have to tell anyone out there who has dreams or um passions of becoming a professional video gamer someday what okay. is your advice to them okay first not to be stubborn with the fifa only there are many many different games try different right second if you really want to become a at least like a 
pro you have to train you have to work it's something like a training every day yeah. and the mind your mind you have to be like a, if you are really number one come and show like there are plenty of people playing you can always come, come. here and you can challenge because the challenging it's the only way how to become the number one yeah otherwise you will never feel that you're number one okay I think that's very nice thank you very much i i i look forward to seeing you in the next future and then make i'll be very happy if otium games is one of the people headlining then um the next big events europe and sending our people abroad so i'm very happy for all you are doing for us and keep it up you are doing a very good work we are trying we are trying we are trying but as i told you the, the better and the higher we are going it will be more difficult to participate because there there are already players with a such a high level mm -hmm. of games that i don't know without one or two year practice you will not be able to meet them okay. this is like i'm telling you the truth yeah. especially in fifa okay 100 percent okay thank you so much thank, thank you, you for coming you. see you See you guys.